Hey, Joe Robina here from American Cane Self-Defense, and today I'm answering the all-important question of how many canes do I really need? And the quick and fast answer to that is, well, it depends. How much room do you have in your house? <laughs> and I'm kidding about that, but uh, the truth is that if you're a serious uh, cane student, a follower, an enthusiast, sooner or later, caners are going to find out by themselves that you are going to want more th obviously than just one cane and I'll outline some of the reasons for that now but uh, I get a kick out of um, uh, when when you guys uh, call in and we have a conversation and you share with me how you have your preferences we all do and you say hey I, I have my wooden uh, cane but you know if I'm going a bad side of town I take my Robina Raven because it's it's metal cane and I appreciate that but the truth of the matter is I always say the most effective cane for self-defense is the one that is in your hand at that given moment God forbid that you need to use it as such and that's the truth and again we all have our preferences this is a Raven and uh, uh, it's I consider it the the top uh, a cane for self-defense out there I happen to prefer aircraft grade aluminum over wood for several reasons and uh, one of them is hey there's no maintenance for this I don't need to oil this the other one is that we've tested it in under duress uh, wood will crack and once it crack it weakens and then you're you know one to three power shots before you can render that it, you know it's, it's useless at that point um, this does not crack this will bend under duress but you can still be effective with a bent cane especially if you're using our um, ACSD power shot template for self-defense so uh, this is one cane you're gonna want the one for self-defense now is this the only cane that I use and hang around with uh, the answer to that is no it always seems to be around me everywhere I go but not necessarily and I'll explain why um, let's pick out this cane right here this is a heavy cane right on, on our site it's a training cane oftentimes beginners want to look for a beginner's cane I don't really believe in beginner's cane I don't have a beginner's cane this is not really a beginner's cane it's a training cane the beginner mentality uh, comes from uh, concepts um, maybe from martial arts and nothing against the martial arts but it pretty much sounds like this hey it's a lighter cane that's easier to maneuver so you know you can get to practicing right away ACSD is not of that mentality because we deal with tactical reality based here's the truth you don't know when you're gonna be attacked you don't control the time and place or even the method uh, that's controlled totally by your assailant unfortunately and you just don't know this is a cane that's heavy it's good to beat bags with it's good to strengthen which is the, the how you know when we talk about PSA creating power uh, speed and accuracy I want you to train with a heavier cane but all our canes are heavy the thing that this doesn't have is any work done on the shaft it doesn't have an aggressive horn so if somebody gets their paws around you you're not gonna break out of there so I don't really believe in a beginner's cane this is a training cane it serves its purpose it's an absolute bazooka uh, but again if somebody grabs you it's not gonna necessarily I can't vouch for you getting a quick release response out of that right so then the question is um, can I get something like let's say something like this which is a a custom cane this one happens to be my wife's cane and it's got the nice blue eyes on there if you can see that let me hold that up I don't know I'm not sure if you can see those eyes over here it's got the nice blue eyes and you can custom that and you know it's got a more aggressive horn it's got three sets of grips right and all that good stuff and it's still a heavy cane um, it's I can still hit bags with this but I'm not necessarily gonna go cane on cane or cane against something else and those of you that are new to this and you're going why would you even go cane on cane because unfortunately you can get attacked with a lead pipe you can get attacked with a baseball bat and you're going to want in those 12 strike and defense zones start to condition with so this um, can serve can a beginner use it absolutely it's still heavy enough that you're gonna strengthen your wrist your forearms your shoulder your hip your whole body when you exercise with this tool and it also has uh, um, a more effective horn uh, more work done on it so you do get that quick release response hey and it's a nice looking cane I can take it about ar around town um, you have a drone cane uh, a drone cane is a padded cane that if you're going to be making contact 
with partners and certainly to test if you really have your 12 strike and defend zones down. This is a cane that you're going to want to have in your arsenal sooner or later. Trust me on this one, okay? If all you do is train with one of your regular canes with a partner, they may not come back and want to play with you anymore. So there is value to having a drone cane in your arsenal sooner or later. Um, for those of you that are into maneuverability, then hey, we have something like the uh, Crimson Spinner, right? Just let out on the market. What a nice cane, right? It's very light for maneuvers, um, you know, specifically made for that. Um, it should improve your freestyling and maneuverability for those of you that are that are into that it should automatically make it improve it 20 percent simply because of the ease of use with this cane can you take your raven cane maneuver with it and then pick up that cane yes as a matter of fact i started off like that freestyling canes are by design because of the growing movement but a lot of us grew up handling something like this you know a heavy wooden cane you get good with that and then when you set it down and you pick up that red Ferrari then you fly with it so nothing wrong with that uh, the secret <laughs> the secret ingredient the secret sauce for uh, maneuverability is is the the mini the freestyle mini and uh, those of you that are moving up you're gonna want two of them uh, simply so it's the easiest way to go into two cane uh, uh, drills right so I'm giving you a variety of canes and why you would uh, need to use something like this uh, this is an instructor's cane it's got a wider crook occasionally I'll get somebody uh, with big paws I had a guy call the other day and say hey my pinky ring is a 14 whoa and uh, he's talking to me about getting bit uh, with the cane. Getting bit when you're doing maneuverability is usually because you haven't practiced enough. I, I always say this, but if you want something wider out here that's not going to hurt your partner, then an instructor cane. And again, it's got good meat on its bone, one set of grip, and this is about four and a half wide. Okay, so it's, it's very comfortable, uh, you know, for, the, for those purposes. And what about if I'm going out on the town and um, Cane night on cane nights, right? Nights with a with a K. Uh, it's a movement. It's a growing movement. Uh, sometimes we call them uh, cane kennels, cane cartels. The idea is that you're getting with your training group, or you're starting one out of your own garage in your house, and everybody's bringing their uh, canes, and everybody's showing off their tools. It's a productive session, and then you go out and you enjoy a meal and you have a good time. Then I want to take something out like a black mamba with whatever color eyes. These happen to be red. And boy, this is just nice with a copper tip on it. And it's a nice chunk of wood. Uh, it's going to really, um, it, it, definitely, it's fantastic for self-defense, but it also looks nice. What I want to be clear on, that a guy like me is not going to take this and start banging it around and, and doing heavy training like I would with a heavy. This is a, you know, I'm wearing my my uh, blazer i'm going out on the, on the night maybe even to a black tie event i'll take something like this you look at it and it's like wow very nice okay and that's a higher end cane and so these are just examples uh here's another one this is what i call a hybrid cane uh why because it's 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 um, it's an exotic. I call it an exotic hybrid because it's real thin here, right, with a bunch of work done, and then it gets fatter here, got the nice eyes. I use this a lot. I find myself using this a lot in workouts uh, where I'm stretching uh, and, and then uh, doing different exercises with it. It's, it's kind of like an all-around cane, but again, it's not anything that I'm going to take. See how thin it is here for that purpose? I'm not going to be banging it around a lot or anything like that. Um, and then, guys, that's a lineup. In the, my morning workout, you'll find a display. The cane bag is open, and I'm reaching out for the barrels or, or, or straight out of the bag. I'm, I'm maneuvering. I'm doing different types of exercises, and depending on how I feel, I usually like a sequence that takes me going from a heavy cane all the way uh, to lighter, and I switch it back up because they all have a different feel and a different look and I'm going out about town and and maybe I, I I take I pick up something like this 
which is, is nothing. Just it's just the nice walnut color, uh, uh, you know, and, it, and, it, and it's engraved here, you know, with with my name and things like that. Um, and it's just nice, and it matches my brown boots. And that's how I feel. That's the culture. So that's the reason why you're going to want a variety of canes if you're a caner. Um, you wouldn't take your Rolls Royce mudding. Uh, you want your pickup truck for that. And, and so that's how you do it. And the same it is with canes. Okay. Uh, so that's just to give you an idea of what's going on with the cane culture. Uh, is there a one all-around cane that can do all those things? Um, no, you're, they're not going to feel the same, but of course you start off with one cane. And again, I don't believe in a beginner's cane. Look at what you want, okay? Uh, get that and get to work with that. Um, and of course, you don't have to get everything at the same time. Although some of you that might be like me, you like to be all in. I talk a lot to you guys uh, out there and you're like, I want all the courses. Uh, okay, start off with the foundational one though. You can get them all, but you gotta start off with the foundational one. So that's just an idea of um, the range and why you would need a cane. So which, how many canes are you gonna need? Uh, we don't know that. We know that it's gonna be more than one as you move forward. All right, I'm Joe Robina for American Cane Self-Defense. You guys, thanks for watching. Reach out to us as always with any questions um, or suggestions. Uh, we love talking to you, all right? Stay safe and keep caning, guys.